in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with the Spirit. So as we come to celebrate the Archangels, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, and the Lord, peace to the people of the will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the most kind, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Philip Olivier. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as the minister perpetually to you in heaven, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 12, 7 through 12 AD. <clears throat> War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. In the spirit of the angels, I will bless your praises, Lord. In the spirit of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and you in your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Please stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you men 
ministers who do his will. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending. On the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. We pray for the intercession of St. Joseph, the hope of the sick, patron of the dying, protector of the Holy Church, that he guide us and guard us in this time of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, that he guide the church with wisdom and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all bishops, priests, and deacons have the courage to speak out for the truth in this time of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the coronavirus, they may link their suffering to the redemptive suffering of Jesus Christ for the salvation of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for our archangels, especially Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. May they always protect us and lead us to heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of his name. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels, for the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
Today we'll pray the second Eucharistic prayer and we have a quote from the Didache. The Didache was like the manual of the apostles, the catechism of the apostles from around the year 90. This is what it said about the Eucharist. As this broken bread was once scattered on the mountains and after it being brought together became one, so may thy church be gathered together from the ends of the earth into thy kingdom. For thine is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ forever. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy deputies this we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new Lord, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. When we take this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to return to life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength, under the faithful protection of the angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be God.